morning nights. I'm Rhiannon Wesley. And I'm Christian Jameson. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Royal Report, Report News. To start us off, we have a Knights of LHHS video of April Casey, who has a talent of writing poetry. I started writing poetry because I realized that other people around me don't really relate to other people and poetry kind of brings people together and helps them realize the better things in life. I recently wrote The Experience, The Life, and it's see the world with an open mind. We do not exist in any other way, for this is our only dimension. A lot of perspectives to take over your mind to be more kind. There is no other time than now, so be a dime and don't be so grim. Listen to the birds, breathe the air, and feel your soul turn golden as you live a life of beauty and reality. Um, people's perspectives on things and when people can't put themselves in other people's shoes, that's like, it's hard for people to understand, so. Her writing was inspiring and amazing. Now, switching to a more serious topic, North Korea. They have been recently developing their nuclear weapons. The UN has approved these sanctions and within the last year, North Korea has launched many missiles. Here's a short video explaining what's going on between the US and North Korea. Good morning, Knights. I'm Andrew Jenkins. Today, we're gonna talk about North Korea. To start us off, North Korea made development of nuclear weapons and can add another distinction set for other rogue states who can vet nuclear weapons. North Korea has launched 14 missiles this year, and their last launch was on August 29th. The United Nations brought new sanctions and restrictions for North Korea, including inspections for cargo going to and from North Korea, and a complete ban on small arms. Trump believes that North Korea's sanctions are not a big deal. Americans are still confused to why North Korea hates us. The main reason is because they're still holding a grudge from the Korean War. America dropped 635,000 tons of explosive on North Korea. Some people believe that there's nothing to worry about, but others think that North Korea is a real threat. Thanks for listening, Knights. I'm Andrew. Have a great rest of your day. It's really great to know what's going on around our world. Last up, we have a recap video of Powder Puff, where the boys are the cheerleaders and the girls play football. What's going up, Knights? I'm Jared Thomas, and welcome back to another edition of J Rat Sports Balls. Over the past few weeks, the Lake Avenue Knights varsity football team has played great with games versus River Valley Dust Devils and the Apollo Hawks. The game versus River Valley was moved from Friday to Saturday due to inclement weather, but the Knights still went out and played strong, winning that game 44 to nothing. In the game versus Apollo, they went out and fought strong again, but lost the game 10 to 49. There will be another football game this week, but with a little twist. The boys will be the cheerleaders and the girls will be the football players. It's the annual Powder Puff game. Escobe has hosted this game annually for over the last 10 years. The pink team consists of freshmen and senior girls, and the black team consists of sophomore and junior girls. Now, don't get me wrong, the boys also play a major role in this. At halftime, the halftime show consists of the boys dressing up in those little unitards and going out and performing the halftime show. Also, they are the referees and the coaches for each team. Cause I see how bad the globe is But they don't know how bad I hope is They don't know how bad we want this This ain't where we at boys, where we going? Success is up to you, but that's hard when you got 12 years of whack schools. So it's rap or it's packs. Either way, you get them ball. With this game about to start, it is sure to be a sight to see. I'm Jerry Thomas, and I hope to catch you on game day. Wow, that was some outstanding cheerleading and an amazing game. 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. I'm Rhiannon. And I'm Christian. Have a nightastic weekend, Knights. Nice.